Hey everybody, it's Amber, and I have a project to share with you. I was on my Instagram and did a poll asking if you guys wanted to see a DIY art journal or a DIY planner, because I wanted to have um, a use or like a project to do with these binders that I found at the Dollar Tree. The ones on the left, all the solid ones are from the Dollar Tree, and then the floral one is from the Target Dollar Spot. So these are A5 size three ring binders and I wanted to do a fun project with them. So what I did is I created an art journal and that was, you know, the, that won the vote on my little Instagram poll. And so I um, made one out of this Target dollar spot binder that you see here. And you can do the same thing with the Dollar Tree ones. So this is a great project for those $1 Dollar Tree binders that you can find right now in your Dollar Tree. The reason I'm using the Target one is because I've had so many of these Target Dollar Spot binders in my stash wanting to do this. And so I'm going to go ahead and use, I went ahead and used that one first. Um, but like I said, you can do the same thing in those Dollar Tree ones. They're the same size. And these Target ones are $3. So what I did is I got a scrapbook collection out and I made a bunch of these cute folders with the pockets. And these are kind of like dividers in my art journal. So I'm going to show you how I created these folders. They're super easy and so fun and so pretty. So I made a bunch of those and then in between each folder is two pieces of sketch paper and you can also watercolor on here, paint with acrylic paints, do any, like ink it up. It's It takes on paint and art, you know, mixed media supplies very well. And what this paper is, is I came across a couple of sketchbooks or art books at Ross and they're these right here and there's like 80 or 60 pages I can't remember in here and they were only five dollars each at Ross and I got two of these and I just been ripping these out and cutting them down to size so the size that I'm using for this A5 binder is eight and a half by five and three quarters and I'm gonna show you why you need to cut it to that size because I'm gonna show you how I punch the holes but anyways, I put two of those and then I put one piece of scrapbook paper. You can also paint that, you know, whitewash it and then put mixed media over it, do whatever. This is an art journal, you know, for whatever your imagination takes you. So I really love these pocket pages that I created, though. They're so cute and it's a great way to use up your double-sided 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So like I said, all through here I put like a billion of those sketch pages a lot of these folders and then you know that random piece of scrapbook paper between the two between the two little sections of um, sketch paper so I really loved using the sketch paper it was nice and thick and like very porous so it takes on paint and markers very well and like I said my favorite part of course are these cute little folders and I don't know why I'm not showing you how they become folders but I think I do here in a second um, the little pockets are so, so fun. See, there's one there and then one up top. So I think they're so cute. And I'm going to show you here in just a second how we create those. But like I said, cut down the little scrapbook paper inside and the sketch pages, eight and a half by five and three quarters. That's the measurement I found to be the best. Um, I put a little bookmark here because this is where I'm going to create another folder and put it there. We're going to do it that, that here on camera. And then I put one there too, and we're going to put another folder there. So we're going to make two more folders here on camera. And everything else is pretty much self-explanatory, but I am going to show you the punch that I used as well. As you can see, this is a cute little one. You can write, you know, art journal right there. This is from the Target dollar spot. It was one of the $3 items, and I have so many of these because I became obsessed every time they put a new line out and had a new print. But as you can see here, you can do the same thing in these $1 Dollar Tree binders. And I think these are so cute. My favorite one is the pink one. And see, everything fits exactly perfectly in there. So you can take these Dollar Tree binders and make yourself an art journal. You can even just fill this with a bunch of scrapbook paper and folders. You don't even have to use the sketch pages. I just thought it was super fun to have a little art journal. So... Let me go ahead and show you how I created these cute pockets. Okay, so what you're going to need to create those cute little folder pockets is a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, and it should be double-sided if you want it to have designs, you know, on both sides. I recommend double-sided. I'm using, again, the Woodland Park 
October Afternoon collection. And this collection's so pretty and it's really artsy. So that's why I chose it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my 12 by 12 sheet down and cut the bottom of the sheet. So if your page is oriented where, you know, you have a top and a bottom, go ahead and cut the bottom off. You're going to cut this at 11 and a half inches. So you're just going to take a half an inch off the bottom. So um, the next thing you're going to do is get your scoreboard out. And you're going to make sure that the bottom of your paper is at the right side. And you're going to score um, at eight and a half inches or three inches from the bottom. So you're going to score right here at eight and a half inches. So that's going to be your first score line. You're going to do two score lines on, one, on this one piece of paper. Then you're going to make a quarter turn so the bottom is now at the bottom and you're going to score this right in half at six inches. So that's really all the scoring we're going to do. And now that I think about it, I'm going to go ahead and cut the other page down too and score it so we can fold these both up at the same time. Okay, so now we have our pages all scored and cut down and everything. So you need to get your bone folder and fold on all the creases. It's pretty easy. You just need to decide what part you want showing as your folder and what part you want as the pocket. And of course on this one, I want the pretty floral page to be um, the folder part. And then I'll have the little chevron print be the pocket. So as you can see, I'm just folding on all the score lines and make sure the pocket part is on the outside, not the inside. So make sure it's on the outside and just make sure all of your score lines are creased really well. And this is basically the construction of your cute little folder, your little pocket folder. So now I'm going to show you the coolest little tool. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Planner Punch Board. This thing, oh my goodness, no matter what type of planner you have, it punches the right holes and there's all the little directions there that gives you the dimensions so if you have a personal planner um, an A5 planner if you have a mini I don't even know what all the planners are called but see those little notches it comes with several of those and it tells you where to put them for what planner and then like how to flip your paper and all that so for the A5 I have it in notch 14 and 49 and this is really thick right here, but it can t it can handle it. Um, I would recommend maybe separating the pages and not trying to punch it through that pocket part. But it did it did it was able to punch it. Um, you might want to unfold it if you do it. But see there, it's perfect. So now we're just missing the hole on the top. So what you do is you take the top one out, you leave it in notch 14, turn it over, and punch, and it's the perfect. A5 three hole punch. This is so awesome. I got this at scrapbook.com and I'm gonna link it below. This is not sponsored, but I just really, really love We Are Memory Keepers items. And like I said, I got that at scrapbook.com and I'm so glad I did because now I can make endless amounts of these art journals, personal planners, everything. So I just do a couple more things with this and I take out my envelope punch board. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but I unfold my folder so that way one page is flapped out there to the right. Since this is six inches from here to here, I line it up at three so I know it's exactly centered and I punch a little notch. And that way it's a little pull um, notch. So when I seal this up, that pocket has a little pull notch. And um, you don't have to do this with that envelope punch board. I just happened to have it out and it worked perfectly. You can use a circle punch and just do it halfway down to make a little notch. You don't even have to do it at all. It's just optional, but I just thought I'd show you what I was gonna do. And now I'm gonna do a couple little more things to this folder, which also you do not have to do. Because once you put this in your binder, those um, in the rings, you know, pretty much that side is gonna be sealed up but I like to seal up the little parts that are just kind of loose, like that there above the first hole on the bottom. I just like to seal that pocket all the way to the top. And then to make the, uh, we'll actually do it on both sides. Don't forget to do that. But to make this 
entire folder a pocket the way we, we did the notch on the top make sure that you seal the bottom so just do a very thin layer of wet glue on the bottom and seal that down so that way it creates a pocket and then there's one other little spot I like to seal and it's just a little bit above that top um, hole right there at the top and so that's all the gluing that I do this is a ready to go it's a double triple pocket now one pocket on each side plus the big top loading pocket and now we can stick this into our pretty art journal isn't that cute so I'm just going to crease these little edges down one more time with my bone folder and grab my art journal and I marked the pages kind of where because I had like a pattern going on so I marked the pages where I needed folders so here's the first little area so this just fits right in so perfectly you can keep all kinds of stuff in there it doesn't matter scraps of paper ephemera stickers whatever you need to put in there to do you know do your art so let's go ahead and create the other one on fast speed There we have it you guys this art journal is ready to be filled up with all kinds of creative art so I must say I'm pretty addicted now to making those folders and I think I want to make a bunch more and make some more art journals and I'm even gonna make a DIY planner when I do make that planner I will definitely make a video on it and I just enjoyed this so much and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and kind of just take this make it your own put whatever scraps of paper you have in here to paint on or ink up or do whatever you want um, you can even use this for sketching I am definitely going to be breaking out my watercolor paints my acrylic paints my inks and I'm going to be using mine for that I cannot wait to get messy and creative and I just really really love this project and I hope you enjoyed it also I hope you'll give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks again, everyone. Bye.